Hey, what's up guys? It's me, Glenn here, and welcome back to another Transformers review. This time we'll be reviewing the Transformers Legacy Voyager Class, Autobot Blaster, and Eject. And there he is, and like always, we'll take a look at the box first, and we finally have a box. Thank freaking Christ. But we'll get Blaster out of the way, and we'll take a look at the box. We got Autobot Blaster, Legacy, Voyager Class, Autobot Blaster, Eject, there is Blaster, there, there is Blaster, there, and the product shots there, got Eject, Blaster, and Blaster, it takes 20 steps to convert Blaster, it takes 8 steps to convert little Eject, and if you want to see his stats, you can indeed scan that little code there, and you can see Blaster's stats and all that good junk and whatnot yeah now be it for the box so i'll put the box off to the side sorry magnus but here we have autobot blaster in his boom box mode in his little boom box mode getting closer and look at the details you know got some nice black and silver there some well gray more like it some knobs and buttons and all that kind of good stuff and all that very nice detail i do like the detail on this a lot and if you come to the back eh, it's not too bad it's it's fairly clean got some dates and all that junk but yeah it's fairly clean very clean back i do like that thank you hasbro for actually doing a good um rendition of blaster well the g1 blaster ain't too bad but I, I can compare him in robot mode, but I can't compare him in boombox mode because I don't have G1 Blaster in the boombox. Anyway, yeah, yeah, you got your Autobot symbol there and some blue on the screen there and some yellow. And this right here, this whole area here is one button. If you press that down, boop, you can eject, eject from his uh, chest there. Little, little, little eject. Look set, man. Got some clear blue and some gold there. Then on the back, you got some gray for the actual body and the head. And whatnot. And... <clears throat> Excuse me. And we'll just put eject back in there for now. But yeah, all you need, all you have to do there is just take this little gray section, these gray section here, and just press it, and he pops right on out, which is very nice. All right, for the accessories, uh, we have a gun for blaster, a blaster for blaster. Look at that. <laughs> but it's blaster's common uh, assault rifle um, gun rifle gun thing it's a gun is what i can say it's a gun <laughs> it's a gun but yeah no all that nice detail there there you go very nice and you can uh, store it in different spots on the actual boom box itself there, 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 and there. And you can stick the rifle on if you want, but I'm not going to because it's a tight fit on mine. So we'll just put that to the side. And uh, I think we should get down to the transformation. So let's do that. All right. Uh, well, you can, you can take eject out and leave him out. Uh... Yeah, I'll take him out and leave him out, and we'll just put him right there. But, first thing you want to do to transform Blaster, all you want to do is come up here to this section, and just, well, we'll turn it around here, get some better look at it. You just want to take this, slide this piece on out, and just rotate it down, and that, there's a peg there that goes into that slot there. If you just, oh, well, come on, there you go, and it will snap in, 
So same thing on the other side. There you go. And there you go. Come on. Man. There you go. We will snap in like so. Okay. Now what you want to do is you want to come to this section here and just untab it. There's two tabs there and there that will tab this whole section in. You just want to untab that and bring that up. Now, what you want to do is you just want to take this this whole section here and just untab it from the arm itself and just untab that and just hinge it hinge his whole leg down make sure the arm is straight um, uh, okay. same thing on the other side you just want to make sure that you got get all this clearance here and just hinge this down hinge that down make sure the arm is straight oops now what you want to do is you can just fold that down now uh what you want to do is you just well, actually you need to lift it up where these don't go back in there well, what you want to do here now is you just want to take the whole leg and untab it from the arm itself and hinge that down. Same thing on the other side. Untab it from the arm, hinge it down. And now you can fold that down. Then what you want to do is just rotate the waist 180. And you got something along of in the lines of that we're going to lift the camera up now where we can get blaster in the entire shot there we go there we go perfection now what you want to do is now we just want to continue with the legs then we'll get started on the upper half what you want to do here is over here and just take this this little piece it's on a hinge you just want to hinge this panel down and close that up then want to rotate the foot 180 and then same thing on the other side you know take this panel fall down close up that panel rotate the leg now we can indeed whoops not knock the camera down sorry hinge his feet out like so there we go hinge his feet out and you want to oh, get this straight come on there you go. And what you want to do is you want to come to here and just take this panel and rotate it around to get something like that. Same thing on the other side. Just rotate that panel around and you got something in the longs of, in the longs of line of that. Now, what's, what's, what, what we want to do now is that get him standing up straight first it looks so weird on the camera because it's it is weird anyway i don't really care now okay now you just want to hinge the arms up like so and just hinge the actual arm piece down and click it in it will click in oops, and bend the hand down and then rotate it around until it's proper. Same thing on the other side. Hinge this down and tap it in and hinge that forward and rotate it around. Fold the arms down now. Now for the reveal of the head. You just want to take this panel. Fold it back and flip up the head. And there you go. And there we have Blaster in his robot mode. 
And I really do like this robot mode for um, a nice G1 blaster. I really like this. Getting close here and look at the details. Nice uh, silver on the head sculpt there. And obviously the chest is the same. This we can open and close. For the leg detail, very nice. Got that on the side, got that on the side. Very nice detail. Then the back, woo, it's all kinds of clean. Heck yeah, brother, it's all kinds of clean. Lovely. It's back, top tier, baby. All right, and the arm detail is pretty good. The only thing I do not like about this figure is this hand. I know it's for the whole gimmick. Oh, he's pressing the button. But it would have been nice if they would have gave that finger a little hinge or something. Or it's possible to make it a fist. But it's just weird. You know? It's just weird. But that's the only thing I don't really... My personal opinion, I don't really like about that figure. About this figure. But, other than that, this figure is amazing. Don't get, uh, don't get me wrong. Okay, we are going to do a comparison with the G1 Big Man. Oh, my Lord. G1 Big Man himself. There you go. <laughs> G1 Blaster don't fit in the frame. Holy. Because he's huge. But anyway. Uh, now for our little we'll we'll put blaster back here but now for our little buddy here we will indeed transform him too what you want to do when you want to transform eject here is you just want to take come here at the legs and just fold it down just untab it and fold the leg down same thing on the other side just untab it Fold the leg down, then rotate at the thigh, then come here, untab the arm, then untab the arm on the other side, bring it down, rotate it, bring it down, rotate it. Then I'm going to pop up the head off camera because it's a bit hard on mine. So. <clears throat> you just want to Flip up the head and rotate it around. And there you have little Eject in his robot mode. Look at it. Look, look at him. Ain't he adorable? Ain't he cute? <laughs> little guy. Little guy. But yeah, I like Eject for uh for for this blaster actually coming with a tape. Yeah, it's it's pretty decent. It's pretty decent. I do like it. Uh, many people do complain about the clear blue parts, but I don't really care. I don't really care. But I'm getting close here and look at the head sculpt. Uh, nice orange for the faceplate. Good, good little uh, gray there for the head. And obviously the body and what's not is the same. And there you go. Got the legs and whatnot. And it's very cool. Little dude. Oh, for the uh, articulation for Eject, we'll do Blaster in a second. Uh, he's got a rotation at his head. He can look side to side. Up that far because of the transformation. And down that far. A uh, little rotation at the shoulder. All the way around. Swivel at the arm. Bend at the elbow. And a little bit in and out. Uh, high kick. Back kick. Knee bend. Deep knee bend for this little guy. A little bit of all over the place because it's on a ball joint. And there is no waist rotation because of how it's built. But that is okay. But yeah, there you have eject. Little guy. All right, for Blaster's articulation, he has a rotation at the head. You can look up that far and down that far. 
rotation at the shoulder, in and out at the shoulder, rotation at the arm, device up, bend at the elbow, hinge at the hand. He's got a waist rotation, a high kick, if you move the butt flap out of the way, a good back kick, a swivel at the leg, and a good knee bend. A decent pivot, a really good decent pivot. And there you have it. There you have Blaster. Get him standing up good. Again. There you have Blaster and little Eject. There you go. So, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, click the like button, click the subscribe button down below, and click that notification bell down below to stay updated on every time I upload. And uh, thank you guys again for 82 subscribers. And I will continue playing Doom on the channel and doing uh, reviews every now and then because I, I'm running out, so I'm going to keep saving and saving and saving whatnot so i'm going to do more gameplays so please go check those out and like always i will see you guys in the next video peace out